What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Rob's RC Insanity. I'm hoping this video, maybe one more, will be the last that we make in this space. I've got a new house, and we're going to have quite a bit more room, so I'll give you a quick view and show you what I've been working with here. It is a very, very crowded space, but we've made do. I've enjoyed working back here in my little corner, and we have made do with the space that we've got to work with. But as you can see, it is very, very crowded. Um... But like I said, we've made do and had some good times, made some good videos. And we're going to make another one today. So what we're working on today, I've got the WL Toys 104001, I believe is what it is. Show you what we're working with here. So I've got a battery charge in here. It is full. Let's take this off the charger. Sorry about that. So anyhow, we've got the one zero four zero zero one. I did put some different rims and tires on. Trying to avoid blowouts at high speeds. Alright, so what we've got here is... I can't remember. I think this is a 60 amp speed controller. I know this is a 3660 sized, which is a 550 sized, uh, 3300 kV motor. I do have the Dumbo RC. X6F with the transmitter that is my little camera mount that's how I make my videos when we're running you just put your phone in here allows you to video while you drive but what I did have to do this is the original spur gear uh, center gear, whatever you want to call it. It's still a spur gear. As you can see, I had some teeth break off. No oh, one my speed runs. I've got a couple more of these ordered. But in the meantime, what I've done is modified this little plastic gear. Which originally I had bought these for, get up here, I bought these for this guy, which is the WL Toys 12402A, which is the, hang on just a second, the old... Yellow and blue Jeep, the D7 Racing. Great little, great little off-road uh, kit. Uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. And uh, I had bought these for that, and I ended up finding some metal ones that I used. So I had a couple of these laying around. So to make a long story short, we modified it. We got it to work. It was tremendously lighter than this big hunk of metal that they stuck in here and we're going to take it out i've got a 3s turnigy it is a 2200 milliamp 35c discharge 3s battery here's the wires one two three four as you can see get that out of the way one two three four it's a 3s battery 
run this 60 amp speed controller. We're going to take this outside. We're going to run it. I've got a uh, GPS charging so we can get a good speed read on it. And we're going to take this out with these. Uh, these were actually the original wheels and tires on the 12402A. That little D7 racing buggy. Had a blowout with the last run. I had some hoons on it and they they ruptured on me around the seam. So we're gonna take these out. These are a nice flat low profile. We'll see how it does. So without too much hoo hawing around, let's go out here and see what she'll do. Alright. Got this thing outside. Do a couple quick passes, see what we can get on 3S. Okay, 44 miles an hour. Not a bad run. Let's try her again, see what we can do. That's a good straight run. Alright. Check that out. 47 miles an hour. Another nice run. Alright, let's hit a... Uh, let make sure this is still on good. Okay. Let's hit her one more time. See if it'll improve any. having to break really early this isn't a very long stretch of road but like I said we, we work with what we got see what we got here all right still 47 miles an hour that is awesome awesome right. I'm happy with that this thing is running nice and straight Nice and smooth. No more clicking noises. I'm very happy with this. Very happy. Well, I don't want to make this video too long. I know I did a lot of talking at the beginning. But, uh... One more pass. All right, we had a vehicle on that one. Let's uh, turn it around and try again. We want to get a run over there. All right, here we go. Man, this thing runs straight. Sounds great. Running good. I'm enjoying this. Alright. 
There we go, folks. 47 miles an hour on a 3S 35C discharge. It's a good run. The, uh, the gold rims look good with the uh, color scheme here. Matches the shop towers. I really like this little buggy. I was a little disappointed that the uh, center gear stripped out like it did, but you know, that's what you get when you buy cheap stuff. And, you know, as much as I like them, WL Toys is a, is a cheaper RC. Um, you kind of get what you pay for sometimes. You got to put a little work into them. But outside of that, it's a great little buggy. Handles great. The wheel slop is not there like it is with the smaller buggies. Um, handles very good. Runs nice and straight, nice and smooth. So uh, I've really enjoyed this one. Enjoy working on it. We're going to do a 4S run next and see how that does. I know the last time I did that, it didn't make much of a difference, but now that we've got some things upgraded, we'll see how it does. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate you all watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe.